Okay, Shad, you said you can hear me? Okay, cool. I don't know why I'm not hearing nothing here on this screen right here. That's okay, let me see can I turn it up. Anyways. You've got high I hopes for this screen. contest. But as long as you guys can hear me, that's, that's should all be a really good matchup. I'm all right, Todd cool. Grisham. Loud and clear, all right, cool. Me, Johnny now, so, the, qu the, the, the question I have is this. It's and time I forgot for what I was going to say. It's of the tape. Damn, it's King Rod, Ryan Garcia. Say, He's 178 Run centimeters tall <laughs> with 178 <laughs> centimeters. Hey, you know what? I, hey, hey, I just smoked. I just smoked. Uh, King Khan, oh, five foot eight inches tall, 146 pounds. I just, with you know, I just smoked. Uh, inch I just smoked we'll two joints. So that could have something to, to do with this it. This is one of those <laughs> classic fights that everybody wants to see. True, true, true. Hey, you know what? Hey, hey, I just smoked two jizzles before I sat out, so Ryan I just thought about Garcia, it. Hey, one of the most famous boxers <laughs> the world. Hey, I feel so bad. <laughs> I feel so bad. Right they call him Flash. <laughs> hey, hey, God damn. All right, anyway, anyway, y'all work with the old boy today, man. Y'all work with the old boy today. Hey, hey, you already know what time it is. Hey, you see my eyes looking Chinese right now? My eyes half open. They have waited for this fight for so long. Yeah, no, you know, I don't. You get what I'm saying? Well, I got some fun. Lord, have mercy. Anyway, let's get back to the topic of it. Steve Kim will be on at the 45-minute mark of the hour. At the 45-minute mark of the hour, Steve Kim will be available. So you guys hold tight for that. Anyway, so, you know what? I forgot what I was going to say. I was going to say something. I forgot what I was going to say. The weed made me lose my train of thought. And you know I'm and you know I'm bipolar. So 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 I'm bipolar and I have ADD. So you mix my bipolarism with ADD and stickiness of the icky, that's what you get. Stickiness of the icky. You wanna smoke with them old boy Rick Dane? That's all I gotta say on that. Now, y'all check this out. Matter of fact, let me let me close. Tell both of these fighters are exuding confidence. It's something I wanted to play for you guys gloves. before I get Here into the show. I wanted to do this. It's the action that says it all. We'll oh, okay, okay, okay. Thanks, thanks, thanks. All right. I, I want to do this before, be. before we get into the Good show. Luck. Let's do this. Uh, I want to play this. I want to play this. And the reason I want to play it because you I felt it. How bad these fighters I was able, I was able to get around. I was able to be around this brother. And I looked him in the eyes as a man. And I always look, I always look, I always look, dude. I mean, you talk about when, when men speak to each other, lions look in each other's eyes when they speak. You know what I mean? I was always taught that, like the dudes I grew up around, and my uncles and stuff. He say, he say, you look at really something, you get older, when you talk to a man, you talk to a man, you look at him eye to eye. That's you don't be turning your head and looking down and doing this and doing right that. He say, you look at a man eye to eye. So, you know. I met, I, met, I met some real cats over there in North, North Omaha, and some dudes you 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 you, are, you get a chance to be around some people, and you can just feel their energy. If you're a real man, real guy, real person, whatever, you understand what I'm talking about. You can just feel the energy. And some dudes, they can be in the room, they don't have to say two words. But it's something about that guy. You're like, yeah, man, I don't know what it is. I'm picking up something. You know how, you know how, um, you know how, um, you know how Dragon Ball Z, you know how Dragon Ball Z, when, um, when, you know how, you know how the Super Saiyans, how Goku and them, they can pick up on somebody's energy. Oh, man, that's it. That, that's a very, very, that's a strong energy, man. That's a very Just powerful energy. Of that right up Where's that coming from, uh, Vegeta? I don't know, it's coming from over there about 200 miles away. You get what I'm saying? Like, all jokes aside, that's some real shit. You can be around that somebody and just pick up on their energy. Time. You'll know, you'll know right away what time it is with. Skill for skill. Animals, for animals have that very well. They pick up, they use their, their senses and stuff like that. But I, I, but I, but I wanna play some. I wanna play some, this is an audio. I want you guys to hear this audio. I want you guys to hear this audio, and me listening to this audio, because I, I saved it, it made me want to, it made me, the audio made me, um, it gave me the topic of the show. I want you guys to listen to me. They, they tried to blackball me, they kept me out, they kept me out. They talked bad about me. They said I wasn't good enough. I couldn't be these top worth of weight. Back and, and I just kept my head to the, the sky. And I kept praying to God that I get the opportunity to show the world how great Terrence Crawford nice is. And tonight, I believe I show how great I am. 
They, they try to blackball right me. They kept me out. They kept me out. They talked about me. Left they said I wasn't good enough. I couldn't beat these top welterweights. And I just kept my head to the sky. And I kept praying to God that I get the opportunity to show the world how great Terrence Crawford is. And tonight, I believe I show how great I am. That's what I wanted to talk about. Now, I do know this. I, now, I know the answer. To, I know the answer to this question. What Chance Crawford said because we spoke about this when I was in Omaha, me and his entire team. So I know, I know what he's talking about. But I wanted to bring the question up to you guys, and I wanted to ask Steve Kim about it. He said they tried to blackball. The key word is they. They. Who is the they that he's talking? About? And when he say they tried to blackball him, what did, what did he mean by that? Now I know the answer to this. I know the answer to this. But a lot of people don't know. What do we expect to see here? So that's no so Terrence Crawford feels round, that let's see what he you know for us here in the next one. He was being blackballed in the sport of boxing from getting the, the big name legacy fights on his resume. Right. One punch could change Manny Pacquiao. everything in this battle. Um, you know, Bob Arum, there's a video out there saying, you know, but Bob said a lot of stuff. But he said something up in short the way, hey, you know, he didn't want to get his good friend Matt and Manny Pacquiao hurt. That's why he killed that fight in Palmer. Something of that sort. I got to try to find that video, but I do remember seeing it. Um, that brother considered that is a sense of black ball. Right? Um, and then he couldn't get the other guys, the other uh, named welterweights in the ring because they was with uh, a self-promotional company. Wrong side of the street politics. Right? Um, goes on a lot. And i.e., therefore, that's where you get the pro PBC guys. If you ain't down with the PBC, you don't like nobody else that ain't down with the PBC. And this and that, and yada, 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 yada. And this is where the, the divide came about <coughs> online. Now, um, the shocking truth about Terrence Crawford's uh, being blackballed in the sport of boxing, exposed, right? In his post fight interview, Terrence Crawford spoke about how the powers that be tried to blackball him. And how the experts and critics talked, to bad, talked bad about him for years. The so-called experts said he wasn't good enough to beat the other top welterweights. At the At end of the day, the everything came back full circle this with his ninth round TKO, TKO destruction of Errol the True Spence. A guy that many people feel that Terrence Crawford carried to the ninth round. What surprised me was how gracious Terrence Crawford was in victory. He didn't brag. He didn't talk shit. He didn't boast. He simply let his hands do the talk. And even though he didn't do any of these things, the same niggas who hated Terrence Crawford yesterday hate him even more today. Terrence Crawford is a way better man than Coach Malachi Wynn. I am very petty revenge for his fight. The shit that I went through for five years, if that shit, would, hey, we gotta get them likes up too. We got six, we got seven hundred people in here, less than less than uh, less than, less than damn two hundred likes. We gotta get the likes up. I'm not dropping the phone lines until I get those likes up anyway. So. Um, anyway, cause I, I'm the total opposite. I'm shitting on everybody. That's me. The same thing that the niggas did to me, and the powers that be did to me. Guess what? I'm doing it back to them triple time. No power in those punches. Terrence Crawford is a way better man than I would ever be. I give him that. Um, a lot of people in the past, you know what I mean? Well, I ain't gonna say a lot of people in the past, but this past weekend, a lot of people in the post-fight press conference, they were mad. Especially certain members of the mainstream media and certain YouTube channels. Fighters like, well, retired fighters like Timothy Bradley and Andre Ward have been telling anyone that would listen how good Terrence Crawford is as a fighter for years. While the PBC were playing keep away with their fighters, and Bob Arrow was not allowing uh, Crawford to fight Manny Pacquiao, Terrence Crawford kept praying, grinding, and working, beating everybody that they put in front of him. While everyone was rolling with the popular fighter in Errol Spence, the guy who hung out in the clubs with Yellow Beasy, the guy who was co-signed by Floyd Mayweather, the guy who had the backing of Al Heyman and the mighty PBC uh, media propaganda machine, Terrence Crawford was in the gym getting back, training, fighting, getting ready. Terrence Crawford wasn't the popular guy, and he isn't right now.
The same people who hated him yesterday, that discredited him yesterday, don't be fooled by them giving him credit now. They still feel the same way that they Our feel about. The they still feel the same way today that they felt about him yesterday. You know Don't get it twisted. Is relying on that so they hate that nigga even more now. Oh, I hate this nigga, man. This nigga, you know what I mean? He, he upset the apple cart. But they're forced to that lean tactics. back they like Fat Jeff. That's where the comments come from. Terrence Crawford, as I said, wasn't the popular guy. He wasn't from Texas, Philadelphia, New York, California, Ohio, Baltimore. On floor. He was just a country boy from Omaha, Nebraska, with a dream. The home of Malcolm X, better known as Malik El Shabazz. To prove my point, Thomas Crawford is still hated by the same group of people today that hated him yesterday. How do I know? Because now the, the same people are making excuses for why Errol Spence got his ass handed to him on a plaque. This is a backwards way of taking credit from the guy who they love to hate in Terrence Bud Crawford. Well, they're back up on their feet, Although Errol I'm Spence sure hasn't why. made any excuses, his supporters are doing everything in their power to take Terrence Crawford's victory away. Instead of, instead of admitting that they were wrong, they're doubling down on their hatred and dislike for Crawford by coming up with all types of all types of conspiracy. Terrence Crawford is a man of high character. Terrence Crawford is a man of faith. Terrence Crawford is a man who did things the right way. Terrence Crawford don't play boxing, he is boxing. While other dudes out in the club singing and dancing, drinking, partying, hanging out, is it Terrence Crawford is a once in a generational talent that was slept on by me. Now those same non-believers, hate and critics, are now looking at themselves, trying to figure out what happened. Trying to figure out how did they get it so wrong for so many years. This is why Crawford stays to himself. This is why he doesn't fit in with the cool kids or the popular crowd. Most Sigma males don't. If you're a Sigma male, you, you definitely won't fit in. He understands that all of the all, he, he understands that all of the guys in boxing and sports entertainment are pretty much fun. It's hard to understand a Sigma male like Terrence Crawford. Sigmas are often misunderstood. Me myself, I am a Sigma male. I am a shit talking Sigma male. I often say sometimes you can hate a person so much that you hate them to success.